Right, this is my iMac on the bench today. This is my shed iMac, the one I have in here for uh, looking up stuff on the internet, a bit of YouTube, blah blah blah, playing music. Um, I'm going to upgrade it today. It's the base model, late 2013, 2013 iMac. Um, it's got 8 gigs of RAM and an i5 4570R running at 2.7 gigahertz um, processor and this is not upgradable it's soldered to the motherboard um, there is apparently an NVMe slot on board but it doesn't um, support it doesn't work on this on the base model on the next model up it works and on the 27 inch model it works so unless this came with um, an SSD from Apple in it and then it, it, it doesn't work apparently and all the documentation I find online everyone says it doesn't work so I'm not going to put NVMe I'm going to upgrade it with a 500 gigabyte hard disk my well, SSD sorry just a cheap Amazon uh, Frank Sian one, I've had loads of these and never had any problems with them and upgrade it to 16 gigabytes of RAM which is the maximum it will take and then I'm going to install Mac OS Monterey on it because the last one this supported is Catalina which is no longer receiving security updates and things so it's been dropped by Apple and apparently Monterey does run pretty well on this it's got the Intel Iris Pro one and a half gigabyte graphics which is supported by Metal um yeah so it should run all right so let's uh take it apart Right, that's this is screen off. Um all the glue cleaned off. A little bit of dust inside, not too bad. And there's the old Apple spinny hard drive there. Super slow thing, so basically we're just gonna change that. But the RAM slots are behind the motherboard up here, so we've got to take this out, the, the hard drive and caddy out, the fan out, and assembly, the power supply out, and then the main board out to get behind for the RAM slots. So let's get on with that. All right, there's the main board out. There's the RAM slots. We've just uh, stuck in these two cheap Amazon. 8 gigabyte modules, 1600 megahertz. This to give it 16 gigabytes of RAM. You can see there the M NVMe slot. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on this board. Don't know whether the circuitry is not present for it. Yeah, so let's put that back together and get the SSD in. Right, let's not forget the speaker plug. Right, that's the Mac pretty much back together most of it. Now, this is a hard drive that comes out. It's mounted in these rubbers and they're just glued on, so you peel them off. And then replace it onto your SSD. Glue that on a bit more center. And then the 
just goes in place of your two and a half inch drive and it's a bit fiddly to get the uh, SATA connector back on it. What you can do is unscrew the speaker, get the right bit. And Way a little bit more makes it slightly easier to get it back on. just pop it back into its socket. Mm. Yes, that one doesn't want to go. There we go. That's the SSD in. Right, let's get the screen on, give her a test run. Well, that's the screen back on. Um, just got it held in place with some frog tape at the moment because I want to do a test run before I install the new glue on. Um, I did image my old hard drive onto this SSD before the upgrade. So let's give it a test run. I chime, which is good. Nothing on screen yet. I know they can take a little while after she's taken them apart. There we go. Oh, that is so much faster. That is so much faster. Password wrong. Do that off camera. And that's booted into Catalina really quick. Right, now let's install Monterey. have a Monterey USB stick prepared with open core. So let's uh, get this installed and see what it's like. Apparently it runs quite well on this Mac. Holding down command. Our option. Right, we're in the recovery of uh, Monterey now. Off the USB stick. Now you can choose to install Monterey over the top, um, but they reckon it'll run much better if you do a fresh install. But I'm going to go for the upgrade. So I'm going to upgrade my Catalina, so all my files are there. And if it doesn't run too well, then I'll redo it and, and wipe it and start from scratch. Click continue. Agree to the license terms, select the hard drive, the SSD, sorry, continue. And that's it. It says 44 minutes remaining, but that's because they've got a slow USB and it has jumped down to 24 minutes. So we'll let that go through and I'll bring you back. Right. 
first boot the first booted into Monterey. So let's get the password in. Alright, optimizing your Mac performance may be affected until completed. And I think this might be open core. Um, installing the graphics acceleration package. Might take a little while. Essentially, on your Mac. Now. No, none of the spyware stuff. Still optimizing the Mac, so. But if I click on here, go about this Mac, take it off of there so you can see. Mac OS Monterey, iMac 21.5 inch, late 2013, processor 2.7 GHz, quad core Intel i5, and 16 GB of 1600 MHz RAM. So I've just got a couple of patches to run. Patch EFI, so it uh, boots every time and not from the USB, not I'm in the uh, to have the USB drive on. It will boot from the internal hard drive or SSD. And that is MacOS Monterey on an unsupported Mac. Now um, if you want to do this yourself you, um, install on Monterey on an unsupported Mac there's uh, look up Mr Macintosh on YouTube he provides some really well explained and comprehensive um, guides to installing various operating systems um, on unsupported Macs, including the new one. You know, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do the usual YouTube stuff down below. Um, subscribing, click on the like button and click the notifications bell to let you know when I've got more videos uploading and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.